Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Here's a quick make a candle with me video. I already melted my wax to 204 degrees. I use coconut soy wax. So with coconut you want to make sure that you're melting it over 200 degrees. So I like to set my wax melter to 204 degrees. So before I pour my fragrance oil I do like to swirl it this isn't a must in candle making but I like to do it to make sure that I'm mixing the oil around so I just calculate how much fragrance oil I need for the amount of candles that I'm making in my calculator and then I start pouring I use the same little cup to measure my fragrance oil so between each use I clean it with alcohol so once my fragrance oil is ready, it's time to measure my wax. But before I even start to pour the wax into my pitcher, I like to warm it up using my heat gun. And this is going to help the wax not get cool really, really fast. So again, I measure how many grams of wax I need depending on how many candles I'm making. And I do it in grams because I just like to calculate it uh, using grams. And if I accidentally go over the amount that I need, I just pour some of the wax back into the wax melter. Then I let the wax cool down a little bit. I like to add the fragrance oil at around 185 to 190 degrees. I like to check the temperature using my digital thermometer. I really don't like those uh, gun thermometers. I feel like they're not very accurate. I actually have one. I use an to, from time to time but not alone I always check the um, temperature using my thermometer that goes in the wax so once the wax has reached the perfect temperature I go ahead and add my fragrance oil and I make sure that I mix for two minutes you want to make sure you do not mix any less than that you want to make sure that your fragrance oil and your wax are mixing in very very good this is going to help your fragrance oil and your wax bind together as you're gonna end up with a very good cold throw and hot throw once I mix for two minutes I really don't measure the temperature again I just basically start pouring into my jar I feel like the temperature for when to pour into the jar to me is not really really important I just go ahead and once my the two minutes are done of mixing I go ahead and pour into the jars and I have this measuring stick that my fiance made for me to ensure that I am pouring nine ounces in each jar so yeah that is basically all i do if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in my next video bye